Hi, in this episode I'm going to talk about retopology and I'm going to retopologize this old man. If you want to see the sculpt, then click on the card just here. If you want to see a quick but detailed breakdown of the stages of setting up for retopology, click on the card in the top right now, or click on the link below. I went probably further with the sculpt than necessary for retopo, but I just felt like practicing. So normally the stages would go a basic sculpt, followed by a retopology, then add your multi-resolution modifier, and then start your detailed sculpt. So retopology. So first we start with a plane, and I'm gonna mirror this, and go into edit mode, pull it across so we've definitely got two, and I'm gonna get them close to the eye where I'm gonna start. I can now turn snapping on, and we want it to face and closest. And lastly, select this button, project individual elements on the surface of other objects. I can now turn clipping on so that they attach in the middle. And I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier. I'm going to keep it simple and I can see what my topology is doing. And lastly, I'm going to add a shrink wrap modifier. Select the target, which is my old man. I could decimate this and apply the decimation to lower the faces so that it would run faster but this is fine for now. I'll set the offset to 2.2 and make sure I can see my edits with this button here. So now if I press G and start grabbing the vertices, they will coincide. It's a tiny bit under the mesh here, so I need to say keep above surface. The last thing to do I think is worth doing, add a material to it, new material, and in the settings, viewport color, it's worth changing that to something so you can easily see it. Okay, from there, simple steps. Uh, control click when you've got a couple of vertices selected or a line selected and it will extrude for you so don't have to keep pressing extrude let's say I duplicate this and I grab the edge and extrude that and I want to merge these two we select the lines between them make sure we've got the same amount of edges each side control E and bridge edge loops Another tool that I often use is the split. So if I select a vertices and press V, it will split it. And that's quite handy if you need to add topology to try and keep your quads. Okay, so here's a time lapse of the process. So here I'm starting around the forehead, but I like to begin the rough shape of the eyes. And I extrude some vertices. This is what I'm aiming for. I'm trying to get uh, the edge flow that we can see here, and this is the final version. What I should have also is a circle around the nose, ideally, but this is fine. Most of the time I just extrude edges, and occasionally I extrude a group of edges and vertices, and then bridge edge loops. You can see I'm not an expert at retopology, as I keep making mistakes, changing my mind. It's quite important to know where your poles should go. Those are points or vertices that have more than four edges coming out of them, or just three edges. Occasionally the snapping goes a tiny bit awkward, but you can easily tidy that up at the end. It's a good idea to have a reference image, and this part I didn't do particularly well. That's where I really needed the loop flow around the nose. It will work, but it's always good to have good topology, especially if you're going on to animate the character. So I don't think this is ideal.
course when you're doing your bridge edge loops make sure you have the same amount of edges selected either side. Sometimes there's a fair bit of trial and error, that's why it helps to follow a reference image. I was trying to practice without a reference, so that's why I keep making mistakes. For the ear, I separated a face, moulded the ear on its own, so obviously hid the rest of the topology, and then connected it together at the end. Ears can be quite tough, and again, uh, get a good reference image and look at the edge flow. You can kind of see the edge flow that I'm going for here. So I built those basic flows and then join them together at the end. Hide the geometry where needed so that you don't select the things in the background. And if you need to insert extra geometry, you can use the uh, V command and that will split your vertices or split your lines. It's a good idea to check your model at the end as well to make sure you have got all quads and tidy up where necessary. It always takes me a tiny bit of time to figure out uh, where to put my topology at the end and how to make it uh, complete so it definitely is quads. If you have a whole group of edges that you need to fill, you just need to make sure it's divisible by four. I was trying to keep it as simple as possible. Generally, the fewer faces you have, the better, and you can subdivide later on. And once I finished, I wanted to reattach the ear to the head. So I counted up the edges, smoothed the vertices out, and then made sure they were identical by adding in some poles where needed. And that's the basics of the model, and I start modeling the bust area at this point. But I think from here you should be able to get the idea. So that's basic retopology. Remember to try and use a reference, remember your edge flows, and use the tools such as bridge edge loop and control click to extrude and V to split edges. 
and vertices. Next time I'll be doing the detailed sculpt with the multi-resolution modifier. Thanks for watching.